Hi, welcome to the channel of Lens Designer Gift Baskets and more. We're here today because we're gonna make a gift basket for Mother's Day. I already have took my little construction at the bottom and I already stuffed my basket and I put my tissue paper over it. So now we're just gonna add the products to the basket. So I'm gonna turn this around so you can see more what I got going on at the table. Okay, here is a charger. I'm using the charger because it gives me foundation for my bike part of my basket. Okay. Also, I'm going to add an essential spa, which is a plush wrap and a hair towel. I put this paper here at the bottom because the Actually, when I put it in the box, it was dropping down. So I'm trying to push it up so to have, so it can stay up once I do my box. Now you see, this is not really stable. So I'm gonna add some glue to the back part of my, um, my box here so it can stick on the charger. That's one of the reasons why I wanted the charger. So I can have, um, so it can be stable so, um, and it won't move. So you see, it's not moving. So it's staying still and my charger ain't going anywhere. This box um, basket is actually going to another state. So I need to make sure that nothing on this box is moving. So that's very important, okay. Now here I have other things I'm gonna add. I got some, some Dove soap. I think I'm gonna add there. But we're gonna just kind of move it around for right now and see what works for this particular um, basket. So we're just gonna kind of move it around and see and then I'll start gluing where things need to be. Also, Got a little travel pillow for this person. I'm gonna put that in there. And I'm gonna add a little, a little amazing little make today amazing, a little notebook. Um, to write notes in a pen. So I'm trying to think how I'm gonna put this in here. I may put that back here and then put this here. And one thing about your basket, you wanna make sure everything is seen in your basket or either I may just add it here and then push the pillow there. So I got to kind of work with it to see how I'm gonna do it. So I may just add it here on the side add it there let's add some glue there let's see what happened when you use the glue you don't you just press it for a few seconds and then it'll stick but since this is sitting up kind of high, uh -oh. since it's sitting up kind of high, I'm gonna hold it a little bit longer while I'm doing that. Meanwhile, I think I wanna set my soap right there on that, so. And I'm not gonna put a lot of glue, so the person that get this basket, they won't rip, be ripping anything off because it'll come, you know, apart. But if I stick a lot of glue on there, then it's gonna start tearing stuff off and you don't want that to happen to your basket. Okay, so I think for now, I'm gonna go ahead, cause it looks good right here. I'm gonna go ahead and glue my, my charger. And that's what I did here in the back. I glued that down so it don't move. And I'm gonna hold it. Kind of in the angle. That's the way I want it to be. 
I may just add a little dab glue here just to give a little bit more security right there to make sure this box is secure because it is sitting up kind of high. Okay. All right, I'm gonna bring that back around. I'm gonna set that there and that there. All right, and let's bring the, the travel pillow back. Let's put that there. got to make sure everything is in position because once you wrap this box that is it let's step back just a little bit i don't want you to see everything else on my table because i do have another project going on over there okay so i did get a book it's all in love it's very inspirational it say i don't believe in love at first sight but I believe in love after building trust in a relationship or a friendship. As for help is a sign of true strength. So it's like inspirational things. I thought that was a really nice book for this person. So I got that. I want everything in this box to be seen right now. say box I meant that so my last one I did was a box that's why I'm saying that but in this basket there's my book right here and then I want to add some body cream as well now what I can do that's the purpose of the glue stick I do use my glue stick a lot in my gift basket especially when I'm shipping something off because I want to make sure this do not go anywhere. So when this person receive everything, it's just the way I put it in that box. Perfect. <laughs> so that's what I wanna make sure they receive it perfect. So if they take and pull this off, it ain't gonna be no big deal because it's plastic with plastic. So, oh, my little glue stick here. I'm getting me another glue stick. This here is just something that I picked up from off of Amazon. I seen a couple of nice ones that my um, basket buddies had and, and a couple of nice ones I seen on Amazon. So, and I'm gonna stick that there. So it kind of gives me, I probably should have straightened that up a little bit more, but it's okay. Let's see, it's not too bad. And I'm gonna straighten that up. Get all that little after glue on there. <laughs> Okay, I want my book to sit comfortably there. And I also one thing about this one here, it's a medium basket, so uh oh. Sorry. One thing about this here, it's a medium basket. So I really had to make sure. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a diffuser. Um ocean breeze. I couldn't put the whole pack. It comes like four in a pack. I couldn't because I was starting to run out of room, unfortunately. I'm, I'm going to tie a little bow around there um, in a little bit. So that can be secure. But that's it on the side. I got one more thing to add. I have a candle. So I'm probably going to add my candle here. Right up in here between it. Um... That's what I got. And this is it. That's my basket. That's the back of it. And that's the front. And then that's the side. So I think it's pretty nice. I think it came out really, really nice. And this, of course, you probably know, this person likes blue. <laughs> so, that's a blue basket there. Okay, let's kind of come down this way and you can look at what I'm about to do. I'm going to show you something. That I, um, I 
put it right here. I got some of this. Just one second, I see my stuff right here. It's called Decorative Mash. Any promises? I'm sure you see this best buddies, basket buddies, and um, you guys do all this neat, pretty stuff too as well. Um, but that's what this is in. Whoever um, don't know anything about baskets, this is called Decorative Mash. I bought this actually from um, Dollar General and I thought it was unique. It came from the uh, 4th of July. They got some 4th of July stuff out already. Um, it came from the 4th of July package and it's supposed to be blue and white. I thought it was neat. So I'm gonna add this on my bow to kind of dress everything up. So I'm gonna show you how I make one of these real quick because that's gonna be in the background of my bow when we finish wrapping this, okay? So I usually cut out four pieces when I'm using my mash. One, two, three, and four. And I usually cut them the same size. I hope you can see. Okay. So when I'm making this, I normally take this and I just kind of gather it up with my fingers and it's going to give me the back part of my bow. Okay. I'm holding it just like that. And then I take another one and I do the same thing. This one here seems a little longer, but it doesn't really matter. Because when you put it together, it all comes together. I promise you. That's another one. So when I take these two here and I'm holding them, I kind of do like a cross up and down. And I hold my finger in the middle. Kind of like that. See? Cross. Crisscross applesauce. I learned that when I was in school. <laughs> anyway. Okay, and then you do another one. Let's come back here to the table. And then you do another one. I know I got so much. I will clear off my table next time. I'm so sorry. Got this pink going on and all this blue. Okay, you do the same thing. Then I cross it again. And it's almost like a, a windmill. You can use three. And if you want it more full, you can use your fourth one. I have seen people, some people use two, but I like my full, and it's gonna make my bow stand out, you'll see. Okay, so once I got it there in the middle, I'm left-handed, so it's kinda hard. Once I got it there in the middle, I get me a pipe cleaner. I cut it in half. And I gather it together cut it in half and I wrap it completely around. And then I take all this, make sure it's kind of even a little bit, take all this and bring it forward. And you see what I'm doing? I'm taking it real tightly and I'm squeezing it around and around. Then when I finish, I just kind of dress it up, fluff it up after we put the the wrap on it, the shrink wrap on it, and then it'll be ready. That's gonna go right there. My bow gonna go right there in the middle. So you can imagine how that's gonna look. It's gonna be pretty. Okay, I was kind of decide, deciding if I'm gonna use, because I do have a gray, my gray charger back here, but it's not seen, because the way everything I got sitting here, it's not really seen. So I was wondering, should I, put gray on this to bring it out or should I use the blue? I don't know. Let me move this black <laughs> So I, re I really don't know. I think this blue is kind of off but it kind of goes with this so uh -uh. we're going to decide. So I'm going to turn off the camera for a little bit and when I come back you're gonna see this basket wrap and you decide you're gonna see what I this decided to use, what color to bring this basket out. So I'll be back. Hey guys, the basket's wrapped, shrink wrap, the bow is on the basket, and it's ready to be seen. Let's go get the basket. 
tell me what you think about that. I think it came out really nice. I decided to go with the blue bow and it kind of brought out everything else. Meanwhile, I added a little bit, a little, little, little bit more decorating to it. I did some flowers around it. I thought that would be neat to make it a little bit more girly because you got to remember this is a Mother's Day basket. Guys, I really thank you very much for watching my video. If you really, really enjoyed it, um, please like, 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 share, 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 comment, 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 and most of all, if you can, subscribe. So if I uplift another video, you will be the first one to be notified.